Hello everybody, this is the Gadget Man with Discovering in Color. And today we're gonna to talk about outside layers, winter outside layers that you can use to keep you warm because hey, it's cold season right now. Um, times are getting colder and you wanna have some good insulation. So we're gonna go through a couple of different options that I use and you can adapt them to however you wanna do it. So let's start with the first thing. Okay, when it comes to winter insulation, there's really two types of material that you wanna look at here. You've got your natural material and you got your synthetic material. And pretty much your natural materials are gonna be wool because that's what wool keeps you warm in the winter time. It's also great because if it does get wet or damp, it will retain some of its warmth. So a good product to have. The other product you'll probably hear of as far as on the natural scale is down. Down is very good because it provides loft, which is dead air space. That dead air space creates or collects heat and it doesn't allow the heat to escape out. Uh, one of the downfalls of down is that when it gets wet, it tends to compress, which means it loses all of its dead air space. Therefore, it doesn't provide a good insulator. Now you can get what they call hydrophobic down, which is basically down that's been treated to repel water. And those do work pretty good. I have a couple of sleeping bags that have it. They're nice for when you uh, sleep in them and you get hot and you sweat, or if it's very damp outside, that moisture won't penetrate the bag. Uh, now, if you have that for a couple of days, it will, but in the, sh in the short terms, it will help you out a lot. So that's the natural fibers. So how do I make that work? Uh, the first thing I use is if it's not too cold outside, usually uh, in the fall and very early winter, I just have this wool coat right here. It's a smart wool. It's a merino wool, and it's your typical red checkered uh, uh, coat here. It's almost like a shirt, but you can wear this over top of uh, another lighter insulator and it'll keep you pretty warm. Um, it's nice if it does get a little bit damp, it will retain its heat, but it's not any kind of a raincoat. So that's my uh, fall, early winter coat. Now for wintertime wear, that's when I usually switch to down as far as it goes to natural materials. Uh, this is just a Marmot 800 fill down jacket here. And when you're looking at down, the higher the number, the better the down it is. And when you get to those really high numbers, you need less down in a jacket in order to provide the same amount of warmth. So this is a 800 fill down jacket and they come in other uh, numbers such as 600 fill or 500 fill. The smaller the number, the more down, the more puffier you'll see it. But this one right here is a really great jacket. I wear it a lot. This one does not have a hood, but it's got uh, zipper pockets. It can be compressed. In other words, you can actually take this and fold it inside of itself and it folds down to a small package about that big that you can pack. And it's also very light. So that's my down jacket. And that's gonna be anywhere, you know, in the very cold temperature range. Uh, when you get too cold, you're gonna start need to wear layers underneath there to keep you warm. So that's my down. And these two, the down and the wool, these are my two natural options. Okay, the next options you can look at are synthetic. Now synthetic materials, uh, there's a wide range of them out there. There's Primaloft, there's uh, Polartec, there's uh, all kind of different uh, uh, things out there. Thinsulate, uh, there's a lot of different types of synthetic material out there. The advantage of synthetic is, is that it can take the moisture very, very, very well. Um, if they get wet, they will retain a lot of their heat. Um, as far as the cost goes, uh, the way these are now, there's not a whole lot of difference between down and synthetic. So here's what I like to use. Um, the first one I have, which is a relatively new one I have, this is my uh, Torrid by Enlightened Equipment. And it is a synthetic jacket. This is really great for backpacking because it's super light. It's a half zip down the front here. In other words, it zips halfway down, okay? And it's almost really just like a hoodie. It's got the pockets here on the side that uh, go through, okay? It's got the uh, nice tight uh, wrist straps right here. It comes with a hood that can be cinched down. And this thing is super light. I put some of the uh, statistics up here, but this thing here, I do like it a lot. I've worn it one time um, outside just to see how it keeps it, but it hasn't gotten that cold here yet. But this is a very nice synthetic jacket um, to take. And what you could do is when you wear these, and if you are in a very wet and damp environment, I have this right here. This is my raincoat here, okay? My Z-Packs Vertice, I've talked about this before, but this is something, it's very light. You can wear this over top of an insulated jacket such as this, 
And what it does is you're gonna get the rain repellency from your jacket and you're gonna get the insulation from your uh, insulating layer underneath. So another two great ways to go for backpacking to keep you nice and warm. Now for camping, what I have synthetic wise here, uh, I've got this nice blue heavy parka type here from Land's End. And this one here, it's a Primaloft jacket, all synthetic. It is, uh, it's got the synthetic insulation. This one has also got a waterproof shell built into the outside of it. And like I said, this is more considered a parka uh, for pretty cold weather. Um, like I said, it's got the hood, it's got the Primaloft, it's got a very nice uh, on the inside here. It's got this uh, little thing you can actually snap together right here to, uh, to keep it going. It's got a drawstring in here, so you can drawstring it on the bottom to keep all of your heat in. It's got these little strings right here, so you can make it uh, good to go. Um, on the side here, it's got these Velcros on the side to close down your pouches right here. And it's got a really cool thing right here. It's got a zipper on the side with a little pouch with a little eyeglass thing here. Or if you have ski goggles, you can use it for ski goggles. So uh, very, very nice jacket. This one is for colder weather. Uh, I would probably say below freezing temperatures is what you want to use it for. Um, if you're a skier, this is a really good jacket if you're a skier because you know, if you get wet from skiing and all that and snow falling on you, it just brushes right off of this stuff right here. So, but this right here, this is my, uh, my winter parka. Oh, it's also got a little, uh, little visor thing built into the hood here, but this is my very, uh, really cold winter parka. Great by itself. You don't need a rain shell or nothing like that. Keeps you warm. Okay, so that's today's video with discovering in color. So like I said, we've got a lot of options here that you can use to keep yourself warm. These are outer shells only we're talking about today. So we had the natural fibers over here, the wool and the down, and then we had the synthetic fibers here. So you can take your pick. Um, the reason I have both sets of these are really depends on the weather. If it's gonna be a dry um, event that I'm going to, I will use the down and the wool. If there's gonna be any kind of moisture forecast or a lot of moisture forecast, that's when I'm pretty much gonna go with the synthetic. So that's why I actually have two different types of uh, things here. It really depends on the weather. So I'll just pick which one I like. So that's it. Gadget Man with Discovering a Color. Thank you very much. And I'll see you on the trail.